hello and welcome back to my channel i am adoma Owokeme, and if this is your first time tuning into my channel welcome take a seat take a seat don't forget to like this video and consider subscribing to my youtube channel and if you are my returning subscriber thank you for your love so today i want to talk about not so popular opinion it's not a popular opinion but it is what it is but i have to have to just say it. you know um I mean, I love watching movies. I do. I love watching movies a lot. But, and sometimes I, I get pissed. I <laughs> forgive, pardon me using that word. I get, I, what's, I don't know what word to use. You know, I get the media, the movies are selling, selling an idea that isn't true. Yes. And it's the idea about sex. So today I want to talk about reasons why you should not have sex, especially as a teenager. Why you should not have sex before marriage. Now, I, 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 I belong to different groups on social media. And I see the opinions of people and sometimes I'm like, are you kidding me? You know, um, recently someone recounted her experience. So she said she was, she was, um, at the restaurant and she wanted to pick up breakfast and then you know while she was seated and the man walked in and when he walked in he he just he asked to sit by her her table and she said oh of course you can sit and he sat and then they got talking and then he asked her if she was mar if she was married and she said no she wasn't married so oh, okay but you have someone right she said no she doesn't have anyone like okay ah, oh, you, you okay you're doing something she's like sir i'm not doing anything you know what that means right i'm not doing anything i'm not married i'm not doing anything and she's like you're like why like why you know she was taking her back like how did we get here someone is deciding to be sexually pure before marriage and the question is why and then she said something that she's she it's oh and he said to her uh are you not i hope you're not one of those sc girls you know and the rest of it so how did we get to this point where we question you know people's uh people's desire to be sexually pure before marriage and i see that a lot of young people haven't been pressured to have sex before marriage they've been pressured they've been told that um keeping yourself is uh, who does that and you know i've had teens tell me of teenagers in their class like these children are in eight nine grade less than 13 years old you know and you know talk about the their sexual escapade even at that young age and then there's this pressure on them to even want to try it and um, i don't know is this happening for me and so I, that's the idea behind this video and so i'm just going to mention some reasons why um reasons why you should not have sex before marriage and so if you are a parent if you are a teenager or a young person Please, this video is for you. Watch it till the end. I'm not going to start with, oh, of course, we all know God has said, you know, sex. I'm not going to start with that one because everyone knows it, right? But one reason why I think, why I believe you should not have sex before marriage is, one, sex is not the answer. So many people get into sex as a way of, as a way of distracting themselves from life. You know, they are depressed. They are in, in one um difficulty or the other so they see sex as a form of distraction sex is not the answer god is the answer for any kind of life challenges you are facing sex is not the solution to your life your loneliness or your troubles or your depression it is not a distraction number two reason is that you can lose all your time your money and resources i see a lot of guys going all out you know to get a girl to your bed and at the end sometimes they don't get the girl to their bed so i is a it's is a is a waste of your resources you know trying to buy gifts for a girl just to get get just to lay with her you know sex could be additive it could not could it is additive so isn't that that time you're used to the time you used to you know the time you you spent you know, trying and the resources you spend trying to get a girl to your 
that you can use that time, use it to learn something, even for something more productive. Don't you think so? I think so. If you're watching this video up until this time, don't forget to like this video and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Number three, and I think this is the most important. Sex is best when you have no one or nothing to compare it to want to compare it with so if you have had sexual uh several sexual partners and then you find get married you'll be like oh when when uh when i was a social person it was like this when was social. but when you've not had sex before marriage there's no one to compare it with and then people like say oh um how do you now know how when you were when you were a child when you grew up as, as you grew up who taught you to eat it's natural right it's natural to you knew how to eat who taught you to work of course your parents were taking were taking the uh, wood in your hands and then you were working right but it, it it kind of came natural to you so you don't you don't need anyone to teach you to have sex it's natural when you get married and you're with your partner you will know what to do you will you do not have sex before marriage there's no reference point and it leaves no door for temptation there's no room for temptation there's no room you want to eat. there's no room for wanting to go back to explore right and so i'll urge you to wait until married to have sex that sex is sacred and it's special and it could be a gift to your partner when you get married and when i say sex is sacred and it should be a gift to keep your um you should be sexually pure i'm referring to both male and female sexual purity is not peculiar to the female folk alone it is but it is both gender both gender have the responsibility to keep themselves pure okay i don't want to sound too preachy but there's something called soul tie that the bible talks about um when you a man laying with a woman they become one at, at, right so just imagine you becoming one with several people you are tied to several people i don't, I don't think you want to have that you don't want to you don't want to be tied to several people so it's best to keep yourself sexually pure until marriage yeah this sounds like a cliche but think about your health having sex with several people think about your health don't you don't you love your don't you love yourself do, do you want to suffer from sexually transmitted infections or diseases yeah we can use protection but really yeah i've read stories of people who you know have had sexual intercourse with people even with protection and still got infected with diseases we have even hiv right so think about your health if nothing else many people think that sex is a tool but if you understand your self-worth and your value you will not want to you will not have you will not throw away your value and your self-worth because of sex so you will not have sex before marriage because you understand your self-worth and your value you understand who you are and who you are you have a lover who loves you so you have you have a person who gave his all for you and in return you want to make him happy right you want to do all you can to make him happy so keeping yourself sexually pure it's not just that you want to make your lover happy that is i'm talking about christ now is that you understand who you are and you don't want to sell yourself short and now i'm going to end on this note yes there are many people who for different reasons have you know have um, lost their virginity my heart goes out to you now this video is not um some form of condemnation no i'm just it's just i'm just putting it out there many people are confused many people do not have reasons they don't have reasons to stay sexually pure and so and that's why i'm making this video for you to think about this and you know decide to stay sexually pure and so if for the past few years you've not been you've you know you've had sexual multiple partners you could still you could decide to you could decide to turn a new leaf yes you could decide to turn a new leaf and decide to be sexually pure until the time you're ready to get married i hope this video blesses you i hope this video has inspired you i hope this video has made you to rethink some of the decisions you've made if it had please leave 
it in the comment section. I know that a lot of you are not going to agree with my opinion or with my line of thought, and that's fine. That's totally fine. For those who are who agree and who are going to see reasons with me, I salute you. And for those who are not going to see reasons with me too, I salute you. But don't forget that our life is not just yours. Your life belongs to God, and He is the reason he has a purpose why he brought you here on earth and so i didn't find this video did you how did did you find this video helpful i like to read from you in the comment section and don't forget to like this video and consider subscribing to my youtube channel till i come your way next time keep living intentional bye for now